Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Anna Copeland, I need to know who took her and her son. Her captor, I want his name. I was granted asylum. Did you know he took her child? Once we exit Russian airspace, your country will be I don't in work for my country. The people protecting me will come for you. You should know. I have anger issues. My therapist says it's because I have no coping mechanism. That to avoid conflict, I hold everything in, let things build up until all of a sudden. You had your chance. Who took Anna Copeland? His name? Bray! Leland Bray! Please! We got what we came for. Where are we? What's going on? Still inside Russian airspace, so no loss were broken. Only you. We have a name, Leland Bray. You want me to contact the agency? No, I want you to find Tom Keane. Ah, oh, babe, you're gonna be late. Thank you so much for getting up with her last night after yesterday. I just, oh, it was crazy. Reddington was, he's lucky to be alive, really. Uh, what about her? Did she ever go down for you? She did at about 4 a.m. I'm telling you, she's got an ear infection. Oh. This is for you. And have you seen her diaper bag? Oh, my God, I almost forgot. Dr. Schaefer's office called. They could see her today at 2 p.m. I can't. I have an interview at 2 p.m. Emerson Elementary. Oh, they called back. I can move it, babe. No, if you want to go back to work, you need to take that interview. We can work it out. Let I'll me call Mom. Carly and see if she is. can cover yeah. for us. Come here. This is Tom. Hello? Hello? Carly, you want to see Carly today? Yeah, no, I understand. Tom? Tom, what's wrong? As my father's attorney, he wants me to go to New York for a private meeting about my father's will. Your father? When? Today. I'm not going. I didn't even know my father or my mother. I'm not going. Tom, in the last three weeks since your father died, you have been obsessing over who he was and why he and your mother gave you up. Maybe these lawyers have some answers for you. Go, see what they have to say. Besides, he was the head of a multi-billion dollar company. I mean, he could be rich. <laughs> we could get a new car. Yeah, or a nanny. Ooh, the nanny could watch Agnes while we go on vacation. Vacation, right. Go to New York. Are you sure about this? I mean, it's only an hour flight. You'll be back in time for dinner. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? the wrong address. It's for you. What? Hey. Hey. You need to listen to me. Who is this? On top of the phone next to you is a book. Inside is a photo. Your name is Christopher Hargrave. In 1988, you vanished from the Ocean City Beach home your parents were renting. You were raised by Frank and Eva Phelps, ran away at 12, taken in by the Major at 14. You have no idea what is coming for you. You need to do as I say. What do you... Who or what? You. They may be listening. 
Listen to me, whoever you are. Go to Washington Square Park. Make sure you're not followed. Where did you get this photo? Wait by the fountain. Hello? Listen to another word you have to say. You're gonna tell me who you are right now. I'm your father. We need to keep moving. You died in a plane crash. It's all over the news. The plane was sabotaged. A way to kill me and secure control of the company I built. But I took advantage of their plot, and now they believe I'm dead, which is best the way it has to be. For 30 years, I searched and... You're actually here. The trees, we, we have to stand under the trees. They might be watching. Why did you bring me here? They don't know who you are. She doesn't know that you're her son and it has to stay that way. It's imperative to the mission that Scotty Hargrave not know you're her son. There is no mission. She offered you a job once before, she's gonna do it again. And when she does, you need to accept. There's no mission. You have to get into the company and gain her trust. I can't say more. Stay under the trees, they can't see you under the trees. Wait, wait. Tom, your whole life to this point, all your training and your skills have been preparing you for this moment. Take the job, gain her trust. You have to gain her trust. Wait a minute, wait a minute, just wait a minute. Stop, stop. let go, no, stop it. Hey, hey, let him be. Stay under the trees. There you are, I was getting worried. You made it? Yeah, Liz, listen, this thing is, uh... It's not what I thought. So your estranged dead father isn't gonna leave us millions? More like my estranged dead father isn't dead. What? He's alive and paranoid. He wants me to go undercover in the company he created. Uh, back up. What are you talking about? He's not dead. He says my mother tried to kill him, so he faked his own death. What do you mean he wants you to go undercover? I don't know. He says Scotty Hargrave's gonna offer me a job. Well, she already offered you a job and you told her no. Something tells me Scotty Hargrave is not the kind of woman who takes no for an answer. Tom Keene, I've been looking everywhere for you. Hey, babe. I think I gotta call you back. Eighteen hours ago, a strike team abducted CIA operative Anna Copeland and her son. Anna Copeland, I remember her. We did a job together years ago. Which is why you're here. We're hoping you may have intel on the man who abducted her, Leland Gray. Gray was her associate until he went rogue. The man is trained in government sanctioned dark arts, snatch and grab, enhanced interrogation, but you're never going to find him. I couldn't. He's a ghost. We've been hired to bring Anna Copeland back. Preferably before she's forced to divulge intel that might compromise national security. You know him, we don't. We need you to help us find Gray, bring back the operative and her child. I have a child of my own in her life. Why can't the CIA bring Anna back? The CIA doesn't rescue operators like Copeland. They disavow them. A burn notice has been issued. If we don't find her and her son, no one will. I uh, wanted to tell you I was sorry to hear about your husband. can't imagine what he must be going through. Why don't we drop the act? I know the truth, Tom. What truth? That he's alive. Who is? Matthias Solomon. There he is, in the flesh. One of my best men. I trusted you to work with him, and you shot him and left him for dead. I've already spoken to Matthias. He understands. I expect you two to put your differences aside and focus on getting Anna Copeland and her son back. Can you do that? You almost killed the woman I love. Can you do that? Hey! 
There he is, the bell of the ball. <laughs> Bring it in. Mm. <laughs> How are you, old friend? Good. How's the stomach? Slightly scarred. But just as beautiful. Or so say the ladies. Hey, he agreed to play nice. I didn't. 15,600. Number of three-letter combinations started with T. Tim, right? No? Ted. Don't tell me. Wait for it. Tom. Right. Like the thumb if it did squats and gelled. Our assignment is to find Anna Blair Copeland, CIA operative under non-official cover. Yesterday, she and her son were kidnapped by Leland David Bray. What do we know about him? Bray is ex-CIA. In 2011, he went rogue while on a black op in Athens. Since then, he's gone to the dark side. He has abducted and killed over a dozen covert operatives. And Bray has made a fortune targeting assets like Copeland, stripping them down and selling what they know to foreign intelligence agencies or terrorist organizations. Aren't you Encyclopedia Brown? I actually met Copeland working in Rabat in 2012. We were contracted to help bring Bray out, but we failed. But you came closer than anyone to doing it. How? Bray has a girlfriend, Nadia Pascu. That was five years ago. How do you know they're still together? Have you seen the girlfriend? Hello, Nadia. Romanian, Olympic swimmer, all around goddess. Yeah, they're still dating. She travels with a full security contingent, so that would suggest that she is still in contact with Bray. And how do you suggest we get her away from the security detail? Well, that's the fun part. All right. I've got authority over the security feeds. Dumont, it's coming your way. Three, two, one, cue the mermaid. We're live, gents. All right. After you, my good man. What, you don't trust me? Well, you shoot me once, shame on me. Shoot me twice. Don't tell me. Okay, this is split in the tunnel, 30 to the head, stay to your right. Target will be another 60 yards out. Transponder's up. Dumont, the coordinates are 40.7513 degrees north, 75.0148 degrees west. Okay, you should have a street vent to your west. From that vent, measure 14 feet 2 inches. Now, from the south wall, measure 6 feet 9 inches. Already told me you're only doing one case. That's a shame. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. When you ready, Freddy? Wait for it. Wait for it, squad boy. Now! Fortune tellers. No, no, no. It's okay. You see this? This is your lifeline. You see where it splits there? Two fates. This is the point of divergence. And this ice pick is an agent of change. You gonna read her tarot cards next? Do you have like a little crystal ball or something? Well, it depends on how she answers the question. Now, if I use it right here, you'll never walk without a cane. But if I use it here, you won't be able to walk at all. And if I use it right here... That's enough. She gets it. Boyfriend, Bray, where is he? Go to hell. <gasps> hey, you, you see what you've done? You've given her a reason to question our resolve. We can't have that.
camera is up. We're live. You're supposed to knock me down, not hit me. Yeah, but it felt great. Is that Nadia's feed from the lens we put in her eye? Amaze balls, right? Mom wanted me to be an ophthalmologist, radiologist, gynecologist, anything ending with a knowledgeist. You get the number she dialed? Enough. Country code is England. Yes, fine, no. I'm alive. I don't know who they were, but they were asking about you. She looked away for the last three digits, but if we run all possible combos, eliminate certain classifications, we land on an elementary school, a Korean spa, or an estate. A hundred kilometers outside London, owned by one Julian Lambert. I want to know who Lambert is, his connection to Bray, and how we get into his estate. I wanted an hour ago. Thanks for the heads up, sweetheart. Get to the safe house. I'll contact you as soon as I can. Please, Leland, don't. Just let my son go. Oh, the boy, he's gotten so big. It's gonna be okay, Maddox. Oh, Maddox, that's right. Hey, Maddox, did Mommy ever tell you that we used to work together? That we were... friends? I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Just let him go. No, you won't. See, if I thought that was the case, I never would have taken the boy in the first place. Mommy. Did Mommy sent people to have me killed. She tried to blow me up. But that didn't work, did it, Mommy? Now, Mom, I know you've been trained to suffer a great deal of pain without cracking, but uh, my question for you is, how much pain can he watch you suffer? Julian Lambert is Leland Bray. It's an alias Bray uses to conceal real estate transactions through offshore accounts in Panama and the Caymans. Lambert only exists on paper. The real owner's Bray. What do we know about the compound? Well, first of all, it's heavily guarded. Round the clock, two shifts, five men, seven working graveyard. And look what our art tech satellite picked up. Those must be Bray's men. So the boy's on a sun. We have no idea what kind of eyes Bray has. He'll likely see you coming from any direction. So we bring fire. Overpower him. Even if we had teams in place, I can't get munitions onto foreign soil that quickly. What about under foreign soil? What do you guys know about Dover's war tunnels? To defend against Napoleon, Dover Castle was retrofitted with a multi-level tunnel network. And yeah, Napoleon never invaded, but the tunnels remain. And judging by this location, Bray's compound sits on or near those tunnels, giving Bray easy access to move captives. Fantastic. If this compound sits on a tunnel, and let's admit that's a that's a mighty big if. How do you suggest we get in or even know where we are? It's not like we have a map. No. The Middlesex Museum of British History does. In 2015, the museum acquired an 18th century artifact, which experts believe may diagram an extended network of secret tunnels under the White Cliffs of Dover. Documents undergoing a restoration effort by historians at the Middlesex Museum in London. Drop a plan. And remember, the chances of getting Anna Copeland and her son out alive drop with every hour. I want to be clear. I'll help you find Bray, but after that, I'm, I'm done. Sardinia, three years ago, our anniversary. What do you think? The funeral home needs a shot for the service. He looks happy. What was he like? Brilliant. Playful. Charming. Terrible flirt. <laughs> <laughs> like a lion, always preening. Damn, if that man didn't know how to wear a tuxedo. How to open a door, tell a joke, be a gentleman. But in the last few years, all that, um... It, it was as if the color in him faded, like a, a photo left out in the rain. happened after we lost our son I, um, I fell apart Howard was my rock eventually I I healed and we went on but all that pain he bottled up it's it 
festered, poisoned the mind. He refused to see a psychiatrist. Became paranoid, secretive. When the board finally moved to have him declared mentally incompetent, he vanished. Last few months of his life were a mystery where he went, who he spoke to. And then the crash. God. That mind. That beautiful, beautiful mind. Such a waste. Museum's holding a fundraiser Saturday night for the London Children's Hospital. Chairperson's an old friend of mine. I got tickets for myself and my client. You know that's tomorrow night. I'll take the jet. What about once we're inside? Well, according to grant documents, the map is being preserved by the museum's archive science team. Now, their facility is located in the basement, and it is state of the art. Environmentally controlled laminar air systems means no access via ducting. The staff enter through airlocks, there are no windows. This place is a bunker. It's only accessible with a metered security badge encoded with at least 22 unique biometrics of the employee. This is impossible to hack. But not impossible to duplicate. It looks like their security system is using an extended capacity access system. It's a long shot, but if you can get me close enough, one of those security badges, we may have a chance. Richard. This little honey is a symmetric skimming cipher that should be able to mimic a card reader and pull keystring codes. That'd give me remote access to the security codes, which is the good news. The bad news is you'd have to be close enough for it to work, like make out close. If you can do that, I can remotely navigate the nonlinear filtering functions and code the preloaded blank card with valid biometrics. So you want to duplicate the key? That's probably a simpler way of saying it. Look, fellas, I'm just as impressed by everything I've said as you are. But even if I can read the key, it's going to take time. How much time? 30 minutes. 20 tops. Tom, I do hope you have a tux. Sounds like we're going to a party. Dumont, how much longer until the duplicate badge is ready? Easy, cheesy. Genius can't be rushed. You OK? With Howard gone, the lawyers tell me I have to settle the estate. I don't understand. Evidently, Howard left a sizable portion of the company to our son. Christopher's body was never found. I suppose he was still hoping for a miracle. But the lawyers are working to have our son declared legally dead so the company can be put in my trust. Almost there, under a minute. <laughs> Sorry to dump all this on you, you didn't ask. You don't need to apologize. I feel strangely comfortable revealing myself to you. It's odd. Tom, Tom, you read me. Ready for liftoff. I sent the encrypted file. Your card's ready to pop. Come on, let's make some magic. fire system. What? <laughs> it's a hypoxic air system. It literally sucks the oxygen out of the room to starve the fire. Fire needs oxygen. Yeah, I know that, Mom. What good does it do us? If I can trip the system without activating the alarm, it'll pull the air from the room, starve the fire of oxygen along with anyone else in that room, inducing like a loss of consciousness to anyone inside, like the choking game. How long are they going to be out? I don't know. Why would I know that, huh? OK, just, just do it, all right? Trip the system. Do it now.
an alarm in the basement, some kind of fire, but it didn't trip the main alarm. It could be a security breach. Get down there and figure it out. The last thing you need tonight is an incident. Back up. Security's on its way. on the map, you're about a quarter mile from the tunnel line that runs under Bray's compound. Once on site, trip the transponder. I'll switch us to an SDR frequency. Hold up. I think it's safe to say we know how Bray smuggles in captives. El Chapo's got nothing on this guy. Well, you can keep silent, and I can't make you talk. And, uh... I don't need to. So what I need from you is gonna take far more than words. Transponder's up. Sending the complainer points. What's happening there? What's going on? Okay, kiddies. Uh, the sketch graph's incomplete, but I can tell you we're looking at a central map. Bedrooms bursting, branching north and south. Exits to the west. Yet, hang tight. I got a door on the east end of our compound, maybe our baby. Come on, come back. It's not on the sketch graph. Come on, baby. Come on. I don't know. No, 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 no. No, princess, please, please, guys. We have a problem. Ray's lady just found the ocular camera. She's on the phone right now and I can't hear a word, but I got a bad feeling about who she's calling. Yeah. What? Oh, for God's sake. Slow down, will you? Tango in custody. We're moving to the access point. You guys gotta find that kid and get out of here because we are burned. Do you hear me? Get that kid and get out. He's got the kid. And I know exactly where he's taking him. No! Wait, my son! I have to go back to my 
Our people will find Maddox. Come on. Don't worry about mommy, kid. She does what she's promised. Take another step. I'll shoot the kid. You don't believe me? One more step! There's an army waiting for you at the other end of this tunnel. It's not gonna end the way you thought. What'd they tell you? That I went rogue? Just let the boy go. I followed orders! I shed blood for them, and they decided I knew too much, so they sent Copeland to kill me. My own team! Mm-hmm. I don't care. Your beef's with the agency. They can make it right. I already made it right. No, you didn't. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Don't look. Anna? It's me. From the mission in Rabat, you're in a hospital. My son, Maddox. We are working to get him back, but right I now... I need to speak to my son. No, listen to me, you're hurt, all right? We have doctors looking at x-rays to make sure that everything is okay, please. Okay, this is our team, and they might have an update on Maddox, just... please. Salma? Yeah, she's safe. Medivac to London. Listen, Bray, he... he cut her some crude surgery. You do? When? And he's okay? Yeah, hang on, she's right here. Escaped? Why would she do that? Because the situation is worse than we thought. I'm looking at an x-ray of Copeland and seeing some kind of device. Device? Interact a minute. Looks like some kind of uh, surgically implanted explosive. She's carrying a bomb. Well, she doesn't know Bray is dead. Or that we have her son. My guess is Bray told her he'd let Maddox go if she detonated it, and that's why she escaped to get to the target. And where's that? I don't know. Solomon said Bray was ranting about the CIA, about how they tried to have him scrubbed and sent his own team to do the job. His team, of course. That's why she's gone. He sent her to kill the team. <sighs> Oh my God, we heard. Okay. Ray alive? Anna, talk to me. I'm sorry. Anna Copeland. Watch it, watch whoa, it. whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody just calm down. We're on the same side, fellas. It's okay. You don't have to do this, sweetheart. He has my son. No, he doesn't. We have him. Bray is dead. Maddox is safe. That can't be. I can prove it. You're okay, Maddox. Mommy, where are you? I'm scared. Listen to me. I love you. Do you hear me? I love you so much. Anna. Hey, hey, take it easy. Anna, hang up the phone. The signal interference could trigger the explosive device. I just felt something. A click. Kill your phones, your radios. Any interference could trigger the detonator. How do you plan to access the device? I can feel it. Feel it. Okay. Anna, don't move. I can't promise this next part won't hurt. Okay, it's out. It's out. What it won't give. Hey, Tom, let me tell you about the time you tried to kill me. Not now. You know, funny story. You tried to kill me at point blank range. Do not talk to me. I'm looking at the images you sent. I think the white module is the main switch. The black one's the time delay. How long ago was the click? Two minutes, maybe less. Uh, if I'm being honest, I shot up his wedding and tried to abduct his woman. Is this you helping? The point is, he couldn't kill somebody if he tried. So you got nothing to worry about. There's a blasting cap in the C4. You want me to pull it out? No, don't. Don't. There's a sensor on it. Can he cut the wire to the switch? Cut either wire to either module, and it'll complete the circuit. I don't like my options. There might be a way, but it's risky. The wires to the main switch, cut them both at the same time. And I mean, like, the exact same time. Anna, we can do this. Just keep your mind on Maddox, because you're gonna be with him before you know it, okay? Number one, 
two, three. <sighs> Very good, sir. Very good. Howard was my inspiration. My partner, my friend. Standing next to him, you felt like no matter what the day brought, nothing was going to touch you. You've been told we lost our son. He was on the beach one moment and gone the next. Well, that's not true. We didn't lose Christopher. I did. He was with me when it happened. And when I told Howard, he helped me, told me he loved me. Howard never blamed me, and he never gave up hope we'd find our son. My hope is that he's finally found him, and that when my time comes, we'll all be together in the next life, further on up the road. I don't know if you're right about Scotty. The preliminary report from the NTSB showing that the fuel system on my jet had been tampered with. She tried to have me killed. I just came from your funeral. She spoke about you. She seemed devastated. She must be pretty good. There's something else you need to see. After you disappeared, Scotty and I, we shared a living hell. We searched, we cried, we searched more. And then gradually, she healed. At first I was angry at her for, for being able to do that. And then I realized it wasn't anger, it was envy because that was something I was not able to do. I never stopped uh, obsessing, believing that you were out there somewhere. I made finding you life's work uh, in that search. That quest raised questions about your mother. How did she come into my life and why? She had been using me and my company from the beginning. And when I confronted her about that, she used my obsession with you to make it appear as if I was crazy. She tried to have me pushed out, not because I was insane, but because I had stumbled onto some larger truth. What truth? What the hell is Whitehall? Don't you see? It's all connected. Your disappearance 30 years ago, her trying to have me declared incompetent, downing the jet to have me killed. She had me declared legally dead today. Scotty Hargrave is now in charge of a global intelligence gathering operation. And she's gonna use that network for the benefit of something terrible. I didn't know if I would ever find you. And if I did, I didn't know who you would be. But here you are and without any help from your parents, an incredibly gifted operative. I don't think that's a coincidence. I believe that we were all put on this earth for a purpose. And I believe that your purpose, Tom, is to go undercover in your own family, find out what your mother has planned, and stop her. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. She sells seashells by the seashore. My mom loved tongue twisters, seashells, pickled peppers. It's one of my only memories of her. She passed away? Yeah, when I was a little boy. 
Sometimes life just really sucks. I told you I'd only work one job, but I changed my mind. Good. We start tomorrow. That's it? No questions asked? You have your reasons. Sooner or later, I'll know what they are. I don't know if I should be thrilled or terrified. Maybe it should be a level of both. Welcome to the family.